here's how to stop open your editor write code write a lot of code write even more code build an application probably build two applications probably build multiple applications and that's it that's all that is there to it you can end the video right now okay but how do i even apply it practically what am i supposed to do all right i'm going to be honest with you coding is tough it is very very tough it takes a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of energy a lot of reps to suck a little less at coding but that's the whole point you need to be a bad programmer first you need to write very shitty code that's the rite of passage but if you keep putting in the reps if you keep putting in the effort then finally you'll suck less then after more time you'll suck a little less and at a certain point you'll suck so little that you'll actually be good yes that's how progression works it's all about the reps now it won't be easy it's going to be tough it's going to be linear and it's not going to be easy but trust me it's going to be very very rewarding so just keep on putting the reps stop looking to write perfect code that's actually never going to happen even if you've been coding for 10 years you're still going to make mistakes in your code you're still going to write inefficient solutions to problem that you're facing in your application it's just going to happen so stop watching tutorials after tutorials after tutorials and get your hands dirty and actually build something because trust me once you start getting a hang of building applications you'll learn at such a rapid pace that all right thanks for the gyan but did you even do it or are you full of shit so here's how i did it and landed myself an awesome front end role within 8 months and not only that after a year I was able to build amazing full stack applications and take on challenges which I could never even dream of. I was building applications which were so difficult for me to fathom when I started out. Unbelievable. All right. Let's start. Start by picking and sticking to a widely used and highly popular language. Here's a pro tip. Look at job boards, job portals. for the role for the roles that you're interested in and look at the tech stack that they're using look at the languages that they're using if you see a lot of entry level positions that are very high in number then it's a good sign that that skill is very high in demand and very accessible that is what you should target as a beginner and this tip of looking at job boards is not limited to beginners anyone even if you're intermediate even if you're an advanced programmer you'll know that looking at job portals and look at at the relevant skills required for a job that you're interested in gives you a lot of direction of learning the right things you don't get lost you learn what you need and that's it in my case i chose javascript because i wanted to build really fast powerful and amazing full stack web applications eventually i transitioned to TypeScript, but that's essentially just a linter over JavaScript, anyway. So that's not a separate language. So I would suggest learn the basics of the language and start building projects. Do not try to master the language. Trust me, do not try to master the language. You can never master the language. Hell, I am still learning. The best programmers I know are still learning. So. we're always learning so there's no point in trying to master language and only then start building projects so just get your hands dirty and start building projects as soon as you can great you've earned 8 zero points for making it so far keep it up yeah i'm thrilled now can you please tell me how do i even get started with projects literally by building anything and by anything i mean anything building something is much much better than simply looking at others build their own applications on youtube it doesn't make sense on a practical level start with observation observe all the application that you use on a daily basis 
Now, my passion for building powerful, fast, and full-stack web applications drove me crazy to observe everything that I used. I looked at Amazon, I looked at Spotify, and thought, you know what? I can actually design it. I can actually make the front end of it. It shouldn't be very difficult for me. And I did it. I started building it. And it was difficult. It wasn't very easy for me. I had to look so many things. I had to look at responsive design, colors, CSS, SCSS. I learned so much during the process. I looked at WhatsApp and I thought, I can actually build the front end of this. That shouldn't be very difficult. So I built it. But I did not stop there. I thought, why, could, why don't I actually extend this front end to actually make this a full stack application? My actual first full stack application. So that's what I did. I extended it. I added a WebSocket server to it. I made sure that I could chat with my friends. And yeah, it was amazing. I didn't know how to do anything, but I learned it through YouTube, learned it through reading blogs, and I implemented it. And it worked. I learned by building applications, not by watching tutorials, not by watching someone else build their own application, but by actually building my own application. I only knew how to center a div, how to color a div, how to make it responsive. Only when I had to actually do that. I only knew how to create my own WebSocket server. When I had to actually do that, I only knew how to create a super intelligent AI agent, Ultra Pro Max that can do everything possible in humanity. Only when I had to. Okay, well, maybe I've not created the last one yet. <laughs> Anyways, this is my point. Learn as you go. Learn what you need to build your application. Learn what you need right now and implement it. And that will take you very, very far. And lastly, I reflected on whatever applications I made. I looked at the mistakes that I did. I looked at how other people had implemented a similar application to what I was building. A lot of the code was available open source on GitHub and I used to just read others code and see how they had handled a certain problem much more efficiently than I had. And that gave me so much learning and, and that made me question a lot of my approaches. And of course, all of this was within a time limit. I always set a time limit on my applications. Uh, like the upper limit was two weeks. I gave myself two weeks to build an application and that was it. And I did it almost every time. Almost every time I was successful in building a full stack application. So reflecting on what you did actually goes a very long way because we don't want to end up proficient at something that is highly inefficient. That would just defeat the purpose. Um, all I want to say is that stop learning and start building and you will actually end up learning a lot more than simply watching tutorials. Of course, do not forget to make it fun. Enjoy the process because in my experience, the fun is at actually getting good rather than being good simply. So the journey is actually more enjoyable. So enjoy it. Remember, we are the wild ones. We only live once. We wanna feel young. Sorry, sorry, what? What to do of your eight zero points? Well, how the hell would I know? I'm not a scrum master. Maybe try selling it to your friend who's lagging in their progress. But wouldn't you agree that actually earning 8 Jira points without doing any work is rather enjoyable?